ViewCube settings dialog box to display. Let's go up to the ViewCube, right click. Let's go to the ViewCube settings. Let's go to the display settings. First, we have the on screen position. The ViewCube is default in the upper right hand corner. We can choose it in any four corners of the screen. I like the top right. Doesn't mean you will. You can put it anywhere you like. The view cube size is set by automatic. When it's set by automatic, AutoCAD sets the size based on the available screen area. You can change that and set it to, you know, tiny, small, normal, or even large. Uh, and I'll hit OK. You can see how big large is. And you know, I got old eyes, but even for me, that's that's a little on the big side. Um, I can kind of I like to go with kind of normal, and I always have normal or automatic. Either one kind of floats my boat. Um, and I'll say OK, and there's normal size. And in 3D, we like to use this a lot, so you know you got to sort of be able to see it, whatever works for you. So I'll go back to automatic. Uh, the inactive opacity, this is when you're not hovering over it. How transparent is it? By default, it's 50%. I'll kick it down really low, like 15%. And you can see it's just barely there when you're not using it. When you hover over it, it gets 100% uh, opaque. So, you know, uh, you can set to whatever your liking is. Um, I'll set it back to 50 again show the UCS menu that's down here this little drop down I can see the UCS menus if I have this checked I think you should always have this checked I mean in 3D you're going to be using user coordinate systems it's a way of life um, so not seeing it is really uh, harmful I'm not sure why you'd want to do that if you only worked in the world coordinate system uh, you could turn it off I suppose uh, but you never do so I would recommend leaving that on, uh, but the other three you can set to whatever your personal preferences are.